الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله السلام عليكم رحمة الله وبركاته أسأل الله كريم رب العرش العظيم أن يتولنا في الدنيا والآخرة وأسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil protects us from كل سوء ومكروه blesses us all with إخلاص وثبات على سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabih al-mubin wa'atiyu Allah wa rasooluhu wa la tanazi'u fa tafshilu wa tadhhaba rihukum wasbiru inna Allah ma'a sabirin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabih al-mubin and obey Allah and his messenger and do not be at variance with one another meaning do not differ with one another lest you become emasculated meaning you lose your power your strength and your strength departs be patient. Inna Allaha ma sabirin. Verily, Allah is with those who are patient. Imam Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, rahimahullah ta'ala, he states about this ayat. He says, And do not be at variance with one another, lest you become emasculated. Meaning, do not differ, resulting in your separation, and your hearts becoming divided, lest you become emasculated. Meaning, you become weak and cowardly. This lets us know, Ahabat Tifilah, that from Islam, from the usul of Islam is is ijtima, is that we we um, we come together, and we come together for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and we become together on the Deen of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Meaning, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Fi kitabil kareem wa atasimu bihablillahi jamiyan wa la tafarruku." Hold on, all of you, steadfast to the rope of Allah, and do not divide. So, since Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has commanded us with being one and not dividing. And he has prohibited us from division. He uh, mentions, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we have to unite based on something very important. And he says, Hablillah, wa'atasimu bi hablillahi jami'an. Hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah together. And he makes nahi, prohibition, on dividing. So this unity is not based on any call. It's not just a political unity. It's not a uh, sectarian orientation. <clears throat> it's not a hizbi organization or group. But rather, this unity is based on the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Based on the Quran. Based on the Sunnah. Based on the Jama'ah. Meaning, Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, their menhaj, their methodology, their understanding. And that means because the Ru'usihim, the heads of them, is the Salaf, meaning the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala, they're the Asl of the Jama'ah. And we have to do our best to adhere to that divine madhab, that divine menhaj, that methodology which is pristine, that methodology which is uh, the sabil Allah, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam uh, described. It came in a hadith that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khatta lana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan وقال هذا سبيل الله ثم خط على يمينه وعلى يساره وقول هذه سبل على كل سبيل فيه شيطان يدعو له وكما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم so the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he drew a line in the sand and he said هذا سبيل الله this is the path of Allah meaning it's a straight path and it's one path and then he drew one on the right and drew one on the left he said هذه سبل those are various paths you know those are other paths and it's plural, subul. And then he said, ala kulu sabil, at the head of every path is a shaitan that calls to it. So this lets us know that the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have people who call to aspects of the Book of Allah and aspects of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but yet they would have deviated. They only call to certain aspects. They belittle the true pristine call of Islam. And they do not implement the whole sabil, sabil al-mu'minin. And this sabil al-mu'minin 
is the menhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And is what the Prophet والسلام, described as Hadha Sabil Allah. This is the path of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the Kitab al Kareem and the Prophet وسلم, said and read this ayah when this event happened as it was narrated. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al Mubin, verily this is my straight path. Uh, so follow it and do not follow the subul, subul, the variance paths. And that is in accordance to the ayat that we were mentioning in the first, uh, in the first place, showing and illustrating for us the importance of adhering to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the best of our ability, learning, understanding, practicing, implementing, calling to it, adhering to it. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil and protects us from kulisu wa makruh. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.